And I think with that, I'll say, hello, everyone. Welcome to America. And we're back <laughs> with some more Pokemon. As this we're... is America. <laughs> this is America. We're stepping on this dark-ass cave. I think I'm avoiding all these fights, by the way. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's because, again, uh, last time we mentioned I just know the entire layout of this place. I remember it. Well, from... I mean, you can see the walls, but I like to imagine that our character is like, got his hands out in front of him. And just <laughs> every time he touches a wall, he shifts to the side and walks forward. A hundred percent. I could see that. A hundred percent. We're just going to run. I think, okay, so the trainer's up there. It's useless. Uh, I think there's one right here that we're about to run into. There is one in that gap right there. You're going to have to fight him. I yeah. think it's just a hike. Oh, shit. Our team is kind of fucked up, actually. A little bit. But again, it's because we've been in this long-ass cave. God, are you motherfuckers really just going to come at me, Zubat? Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> Man, the best thing Pokemon Let's Go ever did was take this shit out. Oh, no, Jen. I need my hard... Uh, I need to constantly I fight a Zubat. I need my random battles. What is this, a game for babies? It's so fun to take four steps and get jumped by a fucking Zubat again. A real man presses run over and over again as they run into another <laughs> Zubat that they don't want to fucking deal with. Also, tell me it's not super hype when you see a Pokemon that you're after spawn in the grass. It's... I've never had such an urgent sense of like, oh shit, I have to get over there now. Yeah, it's the feeling that you should get from Pokemon, which is excitement and not annoyance. Yeah, also... not constant frustration with the bullshit that's happening on the screen. I feel Jex is I think that, uh, the older I get, the more I feel like I just play games like Pokemon for a different reason than a lot of people. It sure feels that way. That's what it feels like to me, for sure. I'm gonna go and... Like, all the people like, it's not competitive, but you don't fucking, like, you're not going to tournaments. <laughs> like, I'm also you, guy. I, I'm, on, I'm gonna just say right now, even when I was in my peak Pokemon, I never gave a shit about competitiveness. It just never made I any played sense to competitively me. back in Gen 4, um, like Diamond and Pearl days. Yeah. And it, it is fun. I do think competitive Pokemon is fun. Yeah, sure. I'm not um, saying that it's not fun. I I'm just think saying... a side game existing that doesn't have, have it is not that big of a No, it's not. Like, where the fuck were you people when, th like, okay, apparently this is no good, but the Pokemon channel where you just watch episodes of Pokemon, where you watch Pokemon <laughs> do fucking do segments is perfectly okay. Okay, sure. Whatever. You're going to defend yeah, fucking... Yeah, where were you for all the other shit? Because they're like, well, this is taking away from the main series games. They would have made another one by now. But then, like, as I've started paying more attention to Pokemon players on Twitter, they fucking hate the main series games anyway. It doesn't make like, any sense. The new wave on Twitter is that Pokemon hasn't been good since Generation 5. That's insane. So then it's like, the back off, let's go, and just let the people who like Pokemon play. You cranky ass old man. Yeah. I also think, again, is that uh, a lot of movements start as a form of gaslighting so people will start saying like like i think when this is a good example because you have recently been experiencing it and have been fighting it uh people are suddenly okay with the burly gents and go like whatever there was never any hate for when this came out and it's like where the fuck were you guys we literally like yeah. we're all talking shit on it and having fun in the beginning and now all of a sudden it's like oh no i love this and now all these people are just mad because everyone loves it and it's like no, I fucking hate this. Why would anyone like this? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I mean, a lot of people are like, it gets me hype. And I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. But like, me personally, there's levels to it. Like, I had one person on Twitter today who was like, well, if you're just so determined to be ashamed, don't let me stop you. And it's like, I'm not determined to be ashamed. It's just uncomfortable. Like, liking stuff like Knights and Dragons does not immediately make me think, well, you know, time for me to dress up in felt with a wooden sword and go LARP. Like, there's levels to it that, that are okay and levels that are not, in my opinion. Dragon Ball is not so awkward that it makes me uncomfortable. It's not because I think, oh no, someone might think I'm not a cool badass if they see me watch Dragon Ball. It's just fucking, it makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it. No, it's not good. And also, welcome to the graveyard, everyone. Everything's sad because it's <laughs> monochromatic. <laughs> That's the original Game Boy colors. That's sad. It is. I'm a channeler. I never understood what these women were for. We're going to go fight. Um, Did I actually heal? Let's <laughs> let me. We were so busy talking shit okay. on. All right. 
This, you see, Dokkan, now this is a guy who goes like, I love the Broly chants. Let's go Broly. <laughs> Let's go Gogeta. Come on, Dokkan. Give me your shit. I should have switched out, um... Uh, what's his name? Jex, there you go. Because all he has now is Water Gun and Bite. What's he gonna do? Yeah, we should be fine. This is where I would put in Chase, but, uh, reminder, um, I accidentally fucked no, up Chase. No, he has electric attacks now. No, he doesn't. I didn't teach him Thunderbolt. Yo, did Why I teach him Why not? Because he's gonna learn it naturally. But he's not gonna learn it naturally because you're never gonna get him up to a high enough fucking level because he doesn't have any electric attacks. Okay, Zen, if you want to, all of a sudden you want to start hating on my game style, I see how it is. In the beginning, when I made him forget Thundershock, you were all like, good job. Good job, Wookie. <laughs> I love all of this. Yeah, I was all for it back in the day. Now you're just trying to find something to hate. You're just trying to find something to hate <laughs> in my playstyle. Uh, see, uh, what, what I don't like is when people just try and hate for hating. How dare they just hate because... Hate for the sake of hate. Didn't they learn anything from Yoda? Hate leads to fear. Fear leads to anger. And anger leads to sorrow. Or some shit like that. Suffering. I think I think it's anger leads to suffering. Oh, okay, there you go. You really gonna send out a Vulpix? Dokkan, are you stupid? <laughs> Dokkan? I mean, I think that's a, a an easy enough question to know the answer to. His Vulpix is basically his uh, extreme meta, and it's about to fucking Man, die. Man, Vulpix is fucking cute, dog. I mean, yes. Vulpix is a very good animal. I like. I mean, I've always liked Vulpix. I was. Yeah, I even like um, Ice Vulpix, which is just Vulpix in blue. White Vulpix, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I guess almost it is. might like Icy Vulpix more. She's really cute. I mean, yes, they are. I mean, that's the same thing for um, Sandshrew when he's um, uh, in his ice form, but he gets like a, like, a, like a little fucking jacket, and it's like, yes, I love everything about him. He's like a little igloo. Yes. But the sand, the icy sand slash is worse. Yes, that's true. Except for when uh, he is, except for when he is slashing Vegeta, in which case he is the best. Yes, correct. Yes. <laughs> Just the one that killed Vegeta is is awesome. Yeah. My favorite. Uh, if the only reason I would like to have is this dude's entire team just weak to Jex. Is this where we learn <laughs> Tokon is sucks and is actually just gonna get killed by one? That last does make sense. He does have pretty good fucking pulls. Yeah, it, yeah. You know what? All these fights sponsored by Ray Bans right here. Boom. Uh, Put in the offer code <laughs> Cam Pokemon and get ten dollars off your order. Oh, here's the here's the motherfucker. All right, now let's see. Does Chase actually know a move that can beat this Eevee? Look at this. I hear Slam is pretty good. I think he doesn't know Slam. He knows Seismic Toss. Yeah, told you he doesn't know anything. So Jesus, he had fuck he, me. He had Mega Punch, and then I made him lose it for Seismic Toss by accident. That's right, you did it twice. <laughs> I did do it twice. I'm I'm so wary of this. Seismic Toss is effective enough. God Almighty, man. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna be taking a straight up 22 damage every single time, and Eevee's like a first form whatever, so he's gonna die. I also like to imagine the Seismic Toss is actually just Chase doing backbreakers on this Eevee over and over and over again. <laughs> Damn right. He literally chased, just tossed this fucking Eevee around a whole bunch, and it died. What? You stinker. I took it easy on you, too. Please. Oh, watch. man. Early 90s shit talk for kids is pretty great. Yeah. I just caught a Q-bone. Its mother passed away. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot of accomplish, pal. Smell you later. And you'll notice that he does not have his Ratatata anymore because we murdered it on a boat. Fun times. Uh. You know, I always saw as a kid that uh, the reason he didn't have a Ratatata anymore is because Ratatata kind of loses relevancy. <laughs> so, if he is supposed to be a good trainer, then he shouldn't have it anymore. That just makes sense to me. So you think it didn't die, it just, um... It got sense of the box. That's my current theory. So he, he so it's okay. Yeah. That's too PG for me. I like to think that he tossed it overboard after it died and let it have a Viking funeral. 
he set it on fire. He set his renegade. Yeah, was... he put it on a tiny. He took like one of the beds out of the place, and uh, let it tossed it overboard and let it float. And then he realized, like, shit, burn leaves it at one HP, and he had to go back and get it <laughs> and set it on proper <laughs> fire. <laughs> man, oh man, I love this fucking town. By the way, it's just so spooky. It's just got a good feel to it. All right, so now next on the plan is to obviously go for people who don't know Pokemon, which sounds hilarious to me. Because anyone who's watching this knows Pokemon. We need to get the Silph Scope. And the only way to get the Silph Scope is to invade Team Rocket's base. But we also need to go to Erica's place. Um, here's the thing. Pokemon takes a real long ass time. And we're not playing a Nuzlocke. So it doesn't really feel like you guys need to see me fight a bunch of dudes for filler. So next time you see me, expect a time jump. Like the next time that this happens, there's going to be some significant changes. This is our, this is our time skip arc. Exactly. We need to finish this before Cam turns in his birthday shows up again. <laughs> and then it's like, well, this birthday gift took a real long ass time to finish. And it's like, well, yes. It yeah, did. we're going to have to start the next damn show. <laughs> the next Pokemon game. Yes. Right as soon as we're done. Mm -hmm. So next time you see this, there's just going to be a big ass time skip. And from here on out, it's going to be the big ass battles. No more me going through a cave. Even though that cave thing was pretty fun because you got to see how much I remembered from my childhood. <laughs> important. Yes, important stuff. So once again, thank you for joining us in Pokemon Yellow. And join us next time when we will legit fight an actual thing. Either go inside Team Rocket Base or fight Erica, whichever one. See you later, guys. Bye.